Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonur, I am from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to create Jolly pattern using AutoCAD 2D drawing and if you refer my previous tutorial, you can see how I created Jolly pattern using a SketchUp file and how we created Jolly in Revit file only. So today I am going to teach you how to create Jolly pattern using AutoCAD 2D file so for this you are required to go to google here and select your jolly pattern and you can search on your jolly design on google and you can download any jpg or png file so i have selected this square simple uh, jolly pattern here and now i am going to insert this jolly image here into my autocad file here and i will directly drag and drop and i will set any height for timing and now this is our image and suppose if you want to make a jolly by 3 feet by 6 feet you can create box here using rectangle and now I will click once here and I will enter any dimension here and I am going to specify length for rect my rectangle is 6 feet and then you can specify width for rectangle is 3 feet so i will rotate this now this is our size 3 feet by 6 feet so now i am going to scale this bring it here this image and i will select all these and i will use a scale command sc enter and now i will click here end point and then i will enter r and then i will bring this image inside this box so this is our size 3 feet by 6 feet and after this you are required to trace these drawings so you can start tracing using line command here so if you use autocad here so i am going to use line command and i will start tracing all this so you can use rectangle also here and you can do chamfering you can use fillet so i am going to use rectangle only and i will trace all this So I will pause the video and I will show you the final product. So now I have finished uh, pressing this and now I am going to delete this image here. And you can see uh, this is looking jolly pattern and now I am going to draw a line here. And this would make uh, sure that every line would be joined so that it will be easy in Revit and after this uh, this is light color so we can make it some darker color so it will be easy for us to view in Revit so now I am going to save this pattern here and I have saved this AutoCAD drawing here and now we will go to our Revit file here and suppose this is a wall and I have created one wall here this is a wall of 20 feet and height of this wall is 10 feet so if you will go to 3d view you can see this is our wall so now the next step is that we are required to import that file autocad file and i will suggest you to create a family before that and family of mod uh, face based family so that it will come directly onto this elevation so it will directly Insert that AutoCAD file in in this file Revit file what will happen? I will tell you the difference. So I am going to my insert tab here and now I will in, Insert AutoCAD here. So I will import CAD and now we are going to jolly pattern here and I am going to open this And you can see this is our jolly 
pattern and in plan view it is coming elevation view so it is very difficult for us to rotate this in this drawing and if you go to your you can see this the difference so it will be very and difficult for us to rotate this image then trace it so i will tell you how we can do face based family so i am going to delete this and now i am going to my file here and i will go to new and i will go and create a family and we'll go to imperial because i am working in feet and inches so we'll go to english imperial and we'll look for generic model face based profile here so you can see this is ceiling based and this is generic model face based so i'm going to open this family and now this is our face based family so now we are going to insert autocad so i will import autocad drawing and i will create on jelly pattern i'll click open and we'll look for this jelly we'll move this and it should unpin this to move and now i'm going to bring it here and after this you are required to trace all of this so i am going to my create tab and i am going to extrusion and we'll uh, take the width of depth of this ceiling as 1 inch you can take 2 inch also i am going to take 1 inch we'll apply and now we can start tracing all this so we can use this pick line and start picking all these lines simply and we should trace again all these lines so I can tell you so I will show you the final product here so I am going to pause this so now I have finished uh, tracing all of this uh, AutoCAD file here and now I am going to finish this extrusion and I have set this extrusion depth of the jolly as 1 inch and you can take as per your drawing and I am going to apply a material I will create a material here and I will apply white paint here so we will apply this glossy Wait. and now I am going to finish edit mode so this is our jelly pattern here you can see this and if you go to 3d view you can see this is the face based jelly so it will be easy us to directly apply on our wall face otherwise it will be very uh, difficult for us to directly insert in AutoCAD uh, Revit plan and then rotate this so it is better to uh, create a face based family so now I am going to load into project click this and now you can place on vertical faces place on face work plane so now I am going to my 3D view here and now I will select this place on face and I will apply here and so this is our jolly now I am going to select wall and will edit the wall profile you can also create wall opening so I am going to create an opening here and I will finish this and you can see this is our jelly pattern here this is our jelly pattern and it is created easily so if you rotate this you can see jelly pattern from this side also it is open so this is the method of creating jelly from AutoCAD drawing and then importing in our Revit file and then working. So you are required to create your AutoCAD pattern first, then create a face-based family in Revit and then directly 
import after creating face based family in your Revit project. So this was the tutorial for the today's session. In the next session, I will come with some more interesting topics in Revit. So bye bye.